Hello everyone, welcome back. So now we're gonna uh, do the displacement mask, but we want to create this at render time. Uh, I don't wanna be processing the geometry again. And all we need is this mask to sample the volume for the curvature. And let's do that. Let's go to the shader, the water shader. I'm gonna dive inside. I'm gonna create a volume sample. And I'm gonna promote the file. And let's go up and plug in the file. And let me check, okay. And for the sample position to work, uh, we need to transform the current position uh, from current to world space because it's rendering in a different space when we use Mantra. So I'm gonna use a transform node and I'm gonna transform it from current to world space. And I'm gonna connect that. And we need to grab the point position, which is can which can be located uh, with the surface, not the surface export, but the global variables. So let's create that and let's connect the point position. And now we have our volume sample. And uh, what we're going to do is we need to check, we need to fit range this result between uh, 1 and 0 because it's going to be inverse. So let's put fit range and invert this. I'm going to connect this into the diffuse color. And let's copy this. And I'm going to turn off the refraction, reflection, I'm just setting the uh, diffuse intensity to one and I'm going to use the surface to visualize uh, the maps and make sure everything is working and I'm going to hide the water uh, let's exclude I just need the the mesh so let's hit render Cool, so that's our uh, blue mask. This is where we want to apply the fine displacement, but we want to complement and remove anything where it's too shallow. So let's read the shallow attribute. I'm gonna create a bind node, and the attribute is called shallow, and we want the complement of that. And let's multiply it. And hit render and let's see how this looks. So we don't want anything in this area basically. Cool, so that's removed. And then we don't want to apply the fine displacement anywhere where we have big, big displacement as well. So I'm going to get that mask and uh, use that as well. So let's take the point position and I need the uh, X coordinate. So vector to float. I'm going to take the X coordinate and fit range that. And I'm going to fit range it between minus 16 and minus 12 and I'm going to invert the result and let's take a look so this is uh, the multiplier for our big displacement uh, we still have to add the height uh, the Y mask as well, but for now I just care about using it as a multiplier to uh, uh, to isolate where we want to apply the mid displacement. And right now uh, it's white where we don't want it to be, so I'm going to invert it using a fit range. And I'm going to change this between 1 and 0, and it's going to go as a multiplier. And let's hit render again. Uh, 
and that's it. This is where we're going to apply the high frequency displacement. Okay, let's. Uh, sorry about that. Let's move this up and create an all. I'm going to call this high frec disp mask and this is going to be or let's do it here so we want to create the high uh, the big displacement mask as well and we're going to use a fit range and i'm going to fit the y position between check the values between minus 0 0.03 and minus 01 and that's going to give me uh, a ramp from from here to here, just this tiny bit. And I'm going to multiply these two. And it's going to be high frequency or large ocean disp. Small ocean disp. And let's take a look at this mask as well. And let's see. Why is this? Oh, sorry. One. Yep. Okay. Yep, so that's our mask. And I'm going to use that for the large displacement. This is for the small displacement. And now it's time to add the actual displacement uh, block. And we'll do that in the next video. 